time for Cars and Coffee. Let's go. Okay, wow. Judging by the parking lot, this is our first big day for Cars and Coffee this year. I mean, it's completely full. I had to park in the back for the first time this year. Oh, check out this noble. You guys know whose this is? Yeah, it's mine. Oh, that's amazing. So what engine does it have in it? It has a the Ford engine, V6 Gurtec, twin turbo, uh, but the engine's torn apart and rebuilt, forged internals, rods, all that good stuff. Completely built. Yeah, there's only two in the state right now. This and the red one, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's been here before. I yep. didn't see him today. Uh, this has 18,000 miles, but typically they have a lot less. People don't drive very much. Yeah. Sounds like you enjoy yours, though. I do. Nice. I do. Thanks for bringing yeah, this out. No What's your name? Kai. Uh, Good to meet you, Kai. Yeah, I'm Zach. Well. Zach. Hope to see this again soon. Yeah, you definitely will. <laughs> oh, I just love Pugs so much. What's this guy's name? Oliver. Oliver. Oliver Twist. Your tail's all twisted, Oliver. <laughs> What's up, Kaching? <laughs> this is the fullest I've seen it all year, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful car. Wow, I really like the stripes on this caddy. That looks so good. Mother of God. There's a Gallardo, an SX, David's Ultima GTR. Ooh, a little right-hand drive. I know, like, why am I, like, not paying attention to that? What is that? I'll be back. Do you know what this is? Uh, I know I've seen pictures of it. It's a car. car. <laughs> so it's an intercooler, but when you're driving, okay. it reminds you that it's an intercooler. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you forgot, right? Intercooler. And then... Well, it's right in front of the passenger in case they don't know how cool your car is. Oh, yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Just in case you forget what that is. That explains a lot. It's pretty cool. And then on this, well done, uh, at the well done. underside of this rear yeah. wing, this is twin cam turbo, but inverted. So, so when, uh, yeah, yeah. apparently when you're looking through the mirror, you can you can see it correctly, and it reminds yeah. you that. And hey, you can see it in the reflection too. Like the, the first gen MR2s had Toyota right up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. you could see it on the rear window. Yep. And then this says twin cam turbo. Hey, in case you forgot, it's a twin cam turbo. <laughs> That's a twin cam turbo. <laughs> I love how like they're really proud of that. If this was foggy, I bet this part would just defog and, and say twin cam oh, turbo. Oh, yeah, that's part right? of like the defog this lines. Part of the defog lines. That's so cool. <laughs> that's so awesome. Has anybody got any questions if this is a twin cam turbo or not? <laughs> I think. Uh, I think it's a twin cam turbo. <laughs> I think it's covered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But that's awesome. I would totally drive this. I want this as my winter car. <laughs> yeah, he's got snow tires on it too, right? right so, this is definitely a winter car. Yes. That Mustang must be making a lot of boost. And a lot of wine to it. There's some power. Jeez, and the McLaren, okay. We've got supercar overload now. This is David's Ultima GTR. Last week he had some engine trouble with it. I guess he just needs to drive it more. Let's go ask him how it's doing. Is the GTR driving better this week? Yeah, it runs and everything. Okay. Yeah, because last week he had some trouble just parking it, right? It was uh, the float bowl, the, the rear of the carb, yeah. the float was stuck. 
see the float is it fills up the, the rear bowl and then shoots gas from there into the car. Yeah. Well, if it's stuck, then it then it just keeps filling just up and it spills gas. over. So half of your engine is getting way too much gas, yeah. and it, which is okay at higher speeds, but when you go to idle, pull in, yeah. try to back in, yep. it just sucks. I mean, it just so actually tapping it on it with a ball peen hammer is how we fix it. <laughs> just give the old race car a whack, right? That's the nice thing about old school stuff. You yeah, can fix everything with a ball on. peen hammer. Exactly. <laughs> you don't need no stinking computer. Yeah. <laughs> so Good to see you, David. Still make the kit. Oh! Oh, that exhaust sound. So this is a Callaway Corvette. 2011 Callaway. Nice. How much power is it putting down? Um, it's about 700 right now. I'd love to put a different cam in it and do some more, but it's my daily driver, so. Daily driving a Callaway Corvette. That's pretty badass. It's meant to be driven. <laughs> I love that though. Like, if you're gonna have a nice car, you gotta drive yeah, it. Yeah, it's just like. Yeah, that's pretty well. So how long have you had it? Since 2011. Brand new. Brand new. Yep. Nice. Nice. My uh, buddy, who actually is one of the head guys at Callaway. Yeah. He has the exact same car, 2010, and has put 236,000 miles on it. What? Yeah. Okay. And all he has done is yeah. replace tires, brakes, and minimal changes. The car has done, had nothing wrong with it. So it's totally reliable. Yep. That's awesome. Shoot, I'm going to have to get myself one now. Do it. Do, wait, <laughs> wait. There's only room for one Callaway around here. No, just all right. kidding. <laughs> well, you're it's just going to have to let me drive yours. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I used to let people take it for a ride because I love watching everybody's expression and yeah. having the chance to do it. Yeah. But somebody took my chin splitter out once, and I Ooh. said, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Callaway did the hood, the supercharger, the short throw shifter, and... Oh, uh, so this has got two. a six-speed in it. Yeah. Nice. Go ahead. Thank you. you. Throw my purse in the seat. You can start it if you want. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Cool. Have at her. It's just a push start. Oh, wow, that's really short. Yeah, it's nice. You can literally just sit there and just flick it with your wrist. Just yeah. chip through it. Oh, that sounds so good. Mind if I rev it a little bit? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. <laughs> ah, there we go. Thank you. That's fun. I, I think I've heard your name before, but I don't remember. I'm Lisa. Lisa. Good to meet you. I'm nice Zach. Nice to meet you. Yeah, this is, this is incredible. Thank you. A little dirty, but you know, hey. Hey, if it's you're going to daily, daily drive it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially in Oregon. Yeah. Way cleaner than my car, for sure. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. And I will see you again. Yeah, I'll be here next week. Isn't that just the cutest little toe hook you ever did see? Wait, that's plastic, that would break. There's a lot of people buying up these F12 Berlinettas because they're like the last naturally aspirated V12 Ferraris that they're making. Pretty much everything's going to be turbos from now on. Oh, this car smells brand new from the outside.
Hey, thanks for bringing this out. Yeah, you bet. See ya. See ya. Thanks for bringing this out. Ah, uh, you bet. Thanks for being here. Ooh, it does have some turbo wine to it. Okay, this is officially the craziest bike I've ever seen. Hey, thank you. That's, that's what I looked for. <laughs> well, you definitely did that's it. That's the answer I want to hear. Those are the best cars and coffee this year. Got to talk to lots of people. Got to rev a Callaway Corvette, which is awesome. And got to see a sweet murder sickle. So, I'll be out here next week. See you next time. <laughs>